Food security is a major concern as we face the unprecedented global challenge of feeding 9 billion people by 2050. And in the semi-arid regions of Africa, Asia and the Middle East, millions of rural families rely on the stable food of millets, also known as the miracle grain. But these much-needed cereal yields are being destroyed by severe infestations of a root parasitic weed called Striga. Striga is capable of destroying an entire year's cereal yield, causing billions of dollars in losses every year. And it's becoming more severe due to climate change conditions. Following my work on the Golden Rice Project, I became particularly interested in understanding Striga-related hormones in permalate because of its importance as a stable food for arid and semi-arid zones. In addition, there is very little existing research for combating striga in pearl millet. Striga infestation is a severe agriculture problem and is considered as one of the seven most severe biotic threats to food security worldwide. Striga seeds can stay in the soil for many years and don't germinate until a root of a host plant grows near it. Host plants are then detected by the release of chemical signals that induce germination. Striga seedlings then attach to the roots of the host plant, such as millet, and saps its water and nutrients, effectively destroying it. My research aims to understand the biosynthesis and release pattern of germination signals in permalate and to identify similar compounds that can be used to induce the germination in the absence of a host. This method would lead to the reduction and eventually elimination of striga seed banks in infested soils. For this purpose, I have established a small consortium with partners from the Redboud University in the Netherlands, the University of Tokyo in Japan, and with the Ainira Institute in Burkina Faso, where we will conduct our field tests. By providing life-saving striga control methods to striga-prone areas, we can help impact the lives of subsistence farmers and their communities. It's our hope that through this work we can enhance food security in the region and potentially other parts of the world.